dedicated to the great outdoors. It's Southern Woods and Waters with Hugh McNaughton. Southern Woods and Waters is brought to you by Gander Mountain, Greenform Construction, The Burns Insurance Group, Cunningham Buick GMC, Nashville Marine, America's Motorsports, and now here's Hugh. All right, welcome everyone to Southern Woods and Waters. Been you're a, been a great day. Hadn't been kind of hot outside, but, but but you're who? I'm Brandon Dowd. All right, and I'm Hugh McNaughton, and we're the team of Southern Woods Southern and Waters. Woods and you we got to you got to work with me. Well, here I'm trying. <laughs> I'm I'm getting it I'm, a little bit at a time, you know. Hey, uh, it has been hot this week. Man, it's been a warm day. It's been was a warm, warm few days. Thank goodness for that cold front. That look, that shower. I mean, I, I hope nobody had a lot of damage and, and you know a lot of property damage. But it felt refreshing to walk out after that storm at 72 degrees. Yeah, after about a hundred. After a 90 something <laughs> this morning. So the hot and muggy, you know, went through and uh, then it rained and then it cooled off and it sure was nice and yeah. Been a lot a good of people day for food plot growth. That's right. Well, a lot of people were looking at the sky, going, "You know, I think I put in two and a half hours of fishing this evening." Yeah. Some people snuck it in. I've already talked yeah, to a few, a few of them. A few of them have. I tell you what. Hey, tonight's show, we're going to be talking uh, deer hunting tonight. We want to get back on the subject of deer hunting. This has uh, been a little controversial. Um, both of us have been catching a little flack from it, but yeah. uh, uh, that's a good thing. I like to stir the pot. That's all right. I like to start. Yep. I like to get your minds thinking and, yep. and kicked in. And and Brandon's with me on this. Is uh, we're talking about the baiting issue, baiting either baiting or no baiting. And I got to tell you, um, you know, while it says, uh, you know, they, they I talked to TWR. They said they had to give it a number. They had to give it a number of how far away a, a pile of bait or a corn feeder or whatever type of feeder had to be from a stand. Well, they gave it 250 yards, okay? Well, a lot of people are going 251 and setting up a stand. And, and, and you know, le yes, legally, you're, you're legal and all that, but it still says if a game warden, it's a judgment call. And I want people to understand the ramifications of if they do this, okay? The ramifications are if, if that game warden uh, makes a judgment call and says that that you killed that animal either going to or coming from that feeder, uh, he can find you. And it's his call. Um, and you can have, you can be 251 yards, but you also got to look at where did you shoot that animal? Uh, was he inside that 250 yard safety zone? Or not, and just things that you need to consider. Uh, Brandon, I know you've heard a lot too. I have. I've I've had a lot of people calling me, and messaging me, you know, giving their input, and and there's there's about a, a thousand different ideas out there about well, it should be laid out this way, it should be done that way, um, and you know, I think in the future we'll get, you know, it'll get a little bit more laid out clearly for us as far as what what's going to be allowed and what's not going to be. Uh, but certainly through talking about it, we, we have uh, started up to a point that people have, have thought about it and kind of input their, their thoughts in, on it. Input and, uh, too, some good input, too, Some good input. Some I mean, input. I've heard some great ideas. Yeah. Some heard from, from people of, from both aspects we expected to hear it from. Mm -hmm. uh, heard some ideas that I would have never, you know, mm -hmm. would have never crossed their mind. So it's, it's been a good deal to, to bring up and get to talking about with people. They've been very interested in, in the subject. An another thing uh, I feel like that we should bring up is the fact that uh, a lot of people use just corn. Corn has about zero percentile <laughs> of actual uh, good things. Corn is just a goody for them. The, you know, all it is uh, is, a, is a carb. It, yeah. it builds fat. You know, they like the taste. Uh, they like to, to eat it as they're passing by or something, but it's it's not going to grow you a big fat no. deer, a big big set of antlers, or anything no. like that. No, it doesn't know. have anything to do like um, that. But it, uh, you know, it's just it's a it's something for them to hit when they're passing by. You know, if you were going to feed, and and uh, you and I are both believers in 
day after season get those feeders out uh, and then pull them 14 days before. Yeah, I mean, but yeah. There's eight months there that we could be utilizing feeding those animals a good nutrient, uh, something that will help them with their growth, something that will help them through the heat and yeah. insects and stuff like that. So there is some good to baiting, but not for the purpose of shooting over it right now. I mean, we're not doing that right now, but we're seeing a lot of antler growth, Brandon, right now. Yeah, it's that time right now. It's a it's, time. It's an exciting time to be checking. And we haven't even got to the buck moon yet. No, no. I mean, we're. Well, I've got everything from from little year and a half old bucks that are just about to their ears, and we've got a few, you know, good ones that are well outside their ears. And, That's right. And have some. And so have some, some good to time them and some time length thickness going. to it's, them. It's coming along. It's, it's coming. It's that time of year. It's, and it's exciting time to get out and. And check cameras and see what's going on at the farm. You know, it's the excitement for us is year round. Year you round. Know, I mean, it's not a we don't wait till well, September we're a to get excited. Hunter. That's right. That's so, right. Sometimes people take it the long, you know, the wrong way. I say deer season never closes. Shooting season closes. <laughs> shooting but deer season, season never no, really closes. Uh, but, and uh, you're right. And and hey, we want to give out. Uh, I want to give out a big shout out to West Stone. Wes. Uh, Started uh, uh, tendeer.com. It, well, it's, it's uh, Tennessee, deer Tennessee, Tennessee Deer Hunters. Tennessee yeah. Deer Hunters, I'm sorry. Tennessee Deer Hunters. Yeah. He started that, and it's been a great little uh, group. And I, and, and I say little uh, sparingly because there's about, what, 20,000 or 10,000? I don't want to say the wrong number. I know there's around 10,000 at this there's point. Somewhere there may around 10,000. Maybe more than that. But um, that's a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, several years ago when, when Wes first started that deal, um, I got involved with it pretty early, and of course Randall Haley, he's been on Randall's the show. Randall's there. And, uh, Sid Herring, a lot, lot mm -hmm. of the guys that, that have been, and it just grew and it grew and it grew, and it went from, uh, they, he actually had a, I think you were there at least at the first one, but the, they have a rendezvous, yeah. you know, every year. Yeah. The group literally got so big this past year that we couldn't hold it. He's got to help, he'll be holding another one this coming year. Um, but Wes put this group together, and it's it has been a fantastic way for everybody to come together and and share what they're seeing and and uh you know what not just what they killed necessarily but you know hey i saw some bucks chasing this morning or hey you know it's uh, the winds coming out of such and such this afternoon if you're going there's a lot of little tidbits in there and, sure. and, and, and that's you know. what i wanted to bring out that wes and, and sid and, and robert and all of them and you have all been uh contributors uh, but the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, if you're out there in the viewing audience and you, you want to know more about deer hunting and more about uh, your season and how it's going, these are great little uh, uh, groups to join and get involved in and just, you know, not really say a whole lot, just listen, read and listen and see what the others are saying. You can learn a lot from a lot of these folks that are sharing their information. You can. Uh, like I, I saw last year where a few of them were saying, you know, the rut's on. Yeah. And then one county say, no, the rut's not on yet. And, you know, <laughs> That's right. and it, but you got you got a, a, a region of of deer that were in rut and then a region that, that they weren't in rut yet. Yeah. So it, it's been a neat deal for me sure. because you know how much I study them. You know, I'm looking into into them all the time and what all I can learn. And it does seem to be that way. I mean, West Tennessee deer, East yeah. Tennessee deer, Middle Tennessee deer, Southern Tennessee deer, their their rut sequences, according to what we hear from people all the time, okay. they're much different. Okay, now we, we've we got to do our deal of the week, and so let's go to it right now. This week's deal of the week uh, is being brought to you by Murfreesboro Outdoors. Let me tell you something. Old Randy Boland's doing a great, great job down there in Murfreesboro. Hey, this deal of the week is, this is a picture of a sun catcher pontoon, and it's got a 225 Yamaha show, Elite. It is called a 324 SS, which means stainless steel uh, ski bar. Um, lit up, cup holders, radio, controls outside the boat. It also has an LED inside the boat, changing station. It is a tritune, but this boat, this pontoon, will uh, flat uh, roll your socks back for you because this one will fly. And that's the reason that it's uh, built like it is with such a big engine on there 
it is made to pull skiers and in uh, what are those uh, inner tubes, inner tubes and, and all that. Kind of. yeah. It could probably pull you know <laughs> ten skiers and two <laughs> inner tubes. You know, easy. I don't know. But it, just try, just try them out there at Nashville Marine. You gotta go check them out. You can go see Dayton Blair, Eddie Robertson, or David McMurray at uh, Nashville Marine, located at 109 and Highway 70. That's their new location in Lebanon. All right. We got to also tell you about our Facebook. Oh my goodness! Hey, we we need everybody to come to our Facebook. Look you know, at all the pictures you guys formed to see what happened. Yeah, you know we we've got a lot going on over there. We're about to start some giveaways. Bubba and, and Speaker revamping. was the first one sent you. Hey, he did. <laughs> you know, uh, Bubba sent some. Uh, Daryl Redajack sent. We've, Darryl, we've had a lot of people send Sid some Harry pictures. Sid Harry sent some. <laughs> yeah, some and uh, so yeah, we're we're excited about that. We want to ask everybody to come over and like the Facebook page. Send us some Southern pictures. Southern Woods and, and Waters, and, yeah. and send us your pictures through that and comment. Message us, we'll be glad to answer any question you might have. Hey, we got to take a break. We'll visit some of our fine sponsors when we come back. More in depth. You'll think you're going to like this. All about deer hunting. Be right back with more Southern Woods Water.